There we go. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. Welcome to Life Around the Coyote Pond. Yeah. Uh, we've decided to do a video today um, and we're going to tell you all about our problems we've had. Mm. A few. And that we decided to treat the pond with salt about a week ago. So. Which we did try to help one of our fish, George. Um, he had a bit of a red mark down his side and uh, we got we got him out to start with fins, didn't he? Blood we, veiny fins. We sedated him, we tritted him, and he caught, he had more red be, when he went back in the pond than he did when he first come out. Because he flaps no matter how much we sedate him, ten minutes he flaps and he flaps and he injures himself and we try and hold him still. Um, anyway, we. Um, we, we decided to salt the pond after doing a lot of research and we, we gradually took the pond up to 5. Not 0.5. Sorry, yeah, yeah not 0.5. Um, because we really needed him to get better. We didn't want it to turn into an ulcer. A few of his scales were raised. Um, it was red. Within a few days, it was fine. Yeah, it, it yeah, cleared it, it up. It, it turned white. Yes. Beautifully yeah. white. Yeah, There's red. Not one fish has got a problem other than George. He's always been susceptible to this. This has been going on years, hasn't it, with yeah. George? Only yeah. him. Yeah. He's um, susceptible to all sorts, honestly. Yeah. You know, you just be like, you rats. But the trouble is, um, so we did it. And um, we did our research on osmotic pressure. So to take your pond up to 5, not 0.5, um, so the koi's salt content is between eight and nine. That's that's the amount of salt within a koi. So if we take the pond up to 0 0.5, what it does is it gives the um, koi a chance to relax, chance to fight off infection because it's taking a lot of pressure um, from the hard work. That's what it does. Anyway. It's fine, it's, it's absolutely worked until we spotted Mildred with a white hazy eye. Jamie shouts, Andrea, I think Mildred's gone blind. She's gone blind in one eye. She's gone blind in one what? eye. But she's dead. You're she joking. Gone blind in one eye. She's got, sir, it's nothing to do with infect, nothing to do with disease, nothing to do with Popeye disease, nothing like that. No because what, what it's being caused by, and it's, it's our fault, is osmotic change can cause a cloudy eye in a coit. And basically it's fluid behind the eye um, because of the change in osmotic pressure. That's caused this and it's glazed over white. Um, so it's classed as like a trauma. Um, or even like a cataract. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, to do with the pressure of the water oh, behind the eye. Yeah, which it can be caused by salt. I remember I re um, listening to a video on YouTube, somebody who was against salt, and he said, um, uh, no wonder there's that many fish with cloudy eyes with these people that um, salt their ponds. And at the time, <laughs> I, I never took any notice of that. I never took any notice. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, we well, didn't. And that, as soon as I remembered... Well, we just thought it was a conspiracy theory. Yeah. You know, we don't mention names. I don't know it was. I don't no. know who it was. No, it was it... just a random video that I was watching about yeah. koi and salt. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've, I've heard, read... We've watched many... If you know who you are, you are, you, know, you can't comment. <laughs> we've watched many videos on the pros and the cons against salt. But what this has been, has been a huge salt bath. And people say it's a nightmare to get out your pond. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit difficult to get it out your pond. But give me this any day, rather than something really ha some real harsh chemical. You know, that that really gives you filters a hit, mm. and and it and it can kill your fish if you don't know what you're doing. Um, which we don't know what we're doing with a lot of stuff like that. So salt is the most gentlest treatment going. It is toxic to koi if used to, to higher concentration. 
but it's also a brilliant healer if used correctly. Oh, we're not suffering with parasites at all. No, not one flick, not one. You know, yeah. they are absolutely grand. They've all gone. Yeah. If there was any. Yeah. Not that we ever found any, because yeah. we didn't. We That's tried, right. didn't we? We yeah. scraped. Well, basically, we just created an acid bath and we just, <laughs> we just, <laughs> we met it all. But yeah, yeah. really. But. But yeah, Mildred, she's swimming about now with she's like happy with like one eye, really. Well, know, what one cupboard? Yeah. yeah. Jamie says we'll buy her a patch. Yeah. 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 yeah buy her a patch. Right. But I think now, well, because we've done two big water changes, so we've gone from 0.5 and it's about 0.2 now. So slowly but surely, we have done water changes every single day. Um, until we've gradually got that high concentration down. So now it is at a therapeutic level of 0.2. Now, that's not going to harm any fish. I want to put that osmotic balance back because of their eye. If, that, if that's time. possible, if it's possible. I don't yeah. even know if it is. Yeah. So we have cured one problem in one sense, which is George's infection thing at the side, but we've caused another problem in the meantime. So that's it, isn't it? But what we do but now... it's just a two big fish. All the other others, smaller fish. Yeah. You know, they are absolutely, pristine, absolutely yeah. bob on. Not They're a, loving it. Not a flick. You know. Not not, in, not a bacterial yeah. mark. Nothing. Yeah. And Jamie cleans the filters every single day. Now, I know that sounds a bit overkill. But one, of the, but one of the main causes of bacterial issues is um, not cleaning your filters enough. Um, unless you've got, I don't know, you know, unless you've got one of those ponds where it's got plants and it's and the, 20 and years established. And it's self-cleaning yeah. plums and things like that. Yeah, you but know. with us it's old school filters and we clean them every day from, we have done, we have done for a while, haven't we? Mm. Since we noticed that mark. Um, but we don't, we don't use those water, though. We only swish them, swish them in the pond water in there. Don't we? That's yeah. what we do. Yeah. So there's, we're not killing any bacteria. Um, yeah, that's something we went for today actually, because we've been dropping the pond a few times um, to bring the salt content down. Um, we've dropped a pond bomb in there uh, for bacteria, and uh, we also put some liquid bacteria, healthy bacteria, into the pond. Yeah. You know, to um, counteract what we've lost, because we would have lost, because we've been putting tap water in. Okay, we've been dechlorinating as we've been filling up, but um, there is a we chance would we, 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 would, we would have yeah. lost. We would have lost a little bit, maybe, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, but then yeah. you think, you know, there's people with pond, new ponds. Um, they put fresh water in from the off. We've still got the old pond water in here, um, just not as much of it. Yeah. But we needed to get that salt content down. Yeah. It, so it was only in there for about, well, well 80 the... hours. Yeah. 80 hours at 0.5. Yeah. So really, just a giant salt bath, really. Yeah. I didn't like salt. I don't like the, th I don't like the th thought of salt. The freshwater fish, salt is toxic. But I also don't like the thought of harsh chemicals either. Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? You go for the most gentlest treatment. We've given him salt baths. We've took him out. We've given him salt baths. They haven't worked in the past, have no, they? No. Because of netting him, he's so big. When we net him, he flaps and he flips, like I said a minute ago, and he goes back in with a redder fin than when he come out. Yeah. So we really, really don't like netting him, unless it's... And not only that, it does cause stress. Yeah. If you, and if you create stress in a pond, you're going to end up, you're going to end up with problems. Parasites. You are. Fluke. You know, yeah. trick. Yeah, it sets it, it, off, you, it? it It does. It's a knock-on effect. I prefer not to net as much as I possibly can. You know, it's their world at the end of the day. You know, the only yeah. time I really put a net in there is maybe to take the odd leaf out or out like that, which is blown in or a bit of rubbish. But that's the only time I'll ever. I'm never likely to went to their well really, because you know. It's for them. It's not for us. I'll go turn the air off and you can um, have a look at uh, Mildred. Which one is it? Second. And, uh, and have a look at her pearly eye blesser. Is it second plug? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. I hope so. 
So yeah, yeah, that's uh, what we've been doing. We could have videoed putting the salt in, you know, you know, dissolving the salt and everything, but you know, you'd have been you'd have been bored to tears. I know I was, but yeah, that's the air off now. Look, that's. You know, the water's absolutely pristine. It will be, it's tap water. And as you can <laughs> see there... Oh, don't drop it. I hope you can make that out. That's mildewed and her eye, look. Like, I was going to get a patch for it, but Andrew insisted it would be silly. <laughs> yeah, but, but she's yeah. swimming about and feeding. She's swimming about, you know, she's you know, she's still doing stuff, you know. She's not sulking, is she? Yeah. And, her, and her other eye's perfect. And I'm sure George still finds her attractive. I'm yeah. sure he does. Oh, I think there's a bit of darkness coming back. Yeah. We said this, now, there's a little bit of darkness there. So I think it's going to cure. Yeah. That's me wishful thinking, Mike. Yeah. But it will. Yeah. And there's George, look. As white as the pure-driven snow yeah. is now. Yeah, yeah. You know. Happy. So, we did a good bit of good with the soul. We just shot Mildred's yeah. eye. Yeah. yeah. So no. that's it, really. But we'll keep you updated yeah. about our eye, won't we? Yeah, yeah. We didn't kill anything. No. You know, yeah, we didn't. Nobody died. No. You know, it's just a shame that Mildred's ended up with a dodgy eye. Poor thing. You know, so if ever, ever anybody out there is thinking about salt in their pond, just think about this pressure you know because it creeps up on us to be fair yeah. but yeah yeah it did I mean salt in no chemical in the waters you know side effect free you know that's why there's pros and cons against every chemical out there um, but I think we're all right we, we'll load it like I say we've lowered it and we haven't kept it in long and before you know it, it'll be, it will be right down to virtually none because we do do a lot of filter cleans. Well, we drop nearly a thousand litres every uh, filter clean. Look at them fish down, Jamie. Gorgeous, aren't they? Nailed. Aww. Oh. She's a bob bob, eh? So we'll keep them updated though, won't we? Yeah, and we've got grass carp in there and they haven't minded the salt. At, yeah, you know. for anyone who's wondering, can grass carp tolerate salt? Absolutely. The haven't batted an eyelid. Yeah. Excuse the pun. The bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah. But our other fish, we have got rid of our orth um, and two of our goldfish um, because of the salt and that the... we were going to um, put in. And they've gone to a less gorgeous uh, giant and a stair alert. yeah and the yeah, stair alert. yeah they've gone to the most gorgeous farm pond it's a lake like a mini lake it's like I don't know yeah. acres big yeah. but it's it's not a lake in the sky no they haven't died they haven't euthanized them they have gone to a fantastic place it's it's a rest though it's this a lovely retirement and, home for fish and it's full of sturgeon that's like two two meters long there's a lot of sturgeon in there, so, and a lot of giant orfs, mm. and some fish have lived 25 years, he tells me, long happy lives there, yeah. aren't they? Two metre long sturgeon. What? Bye bye, Wakey. <laughs> 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 joking, joking. <laughs> they don't, well, they don't eat meat, they don't eat fish. The dough. No, they don't. The dough. No, they but, don't. But, but. Sturgeon don't eat. They're not cannibals like that. They're not. No, no, no. They don't eat their own young, but they will eat other young. Oh, sure. Up. He was big. <laughs> Wicky was a big goldfish. He was a big goldfish. Yeah, yeah. They choke on him. They choke on the wood. They choke on him. You'll bloody choke. <laughs> he never liked them goldfish. Never. Did you? I thought your pumpkin was great. Elvis. Yeah, yeah. to bring a pond on and then to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Cruel, that were my favourites. Yeah. 
but yeah, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, really, you know, we do, yeah, 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 we love this, we love, That's you it. know, Why does the blinding fish? of fish yeah. and, and everything else and the bacteria, we love it. We've noticed so many people suffering from parasites everywhere you look, they're going out their minds, they're pee pee in their ponds, they're putting fluke treatment in, they're, they're going out their minds, everywhere. They're going through hell. And I think, why is anybody doing this hobby? Because all it is is stress, isn't it? Yeah. But it'll come right. Yeah. It's that stressful, even I feel like coming out in fluke. Anyway, thank you for watching. Yeah. Um, we will, we will, we will try and get more content and out. And hopefully, Mildred will have two blue eyes next time. Good dot lenses. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye, Bye for now.